What's up guys, welcome back to Import Tune Challenge Part 13. So, since the last episode, um, you may have noticed this already, but uh, I've messed around with the sound settings. You see, before I was recording the game audio and my own audio separately, and I'd have to spend about an hour syncing up the video with the audio, and regardless how many times I did like a little countdown or whatever, it always ended up a little bit out of sync. So what I've done is either following a few online tutorials, I have discovered the uh, stereo mix and how it can actually allow you to use two audio sources into like uh, hard to explain. Basically you can have two audio sources uh and they get sort of merged into one, which of course is then used by the Roxio program to record the game. So uh, a bit of adjustment had to be done. I had to change the game volume itself to 2, because even though the Roxio is actually set to no volume whatsoever, it still comes out quite loud for some reason. So I had to actually set it in-game to low volume, so the volume might be a bit lower than usual. Uh, game volume I mean. So if it is, uh, I'll probably raise it for the next episode. But yeah, you'll see a lot of uh, sound tweaking for a few episodes while I'm uh, getting that perfect. So anyway, I've also tuned the, the uh, transmission. So we now have gear ratios. I spent about, I guess, 15 minutes trying to figure out which final gear to use because the impressor is quite fussy. It runs out of pa runs out of puff uh, quite high up, so had to sort of cut back a bit on the final. So uh, the top speed is about 185 estimated. It's really about 170 something without spray. So we've got like, sort of that 10 mph gap for uh, to use with spray. So yeah, moving on. We I've also uh, incorporated the Banter Gaming Channel logo into the end outro as well as I've extended it so you guys can actually uh, appreciate the the uh, very very nice track we've used from uh, machinimasound.com which is a great site to use for uh, royalty free music if uh, <laughs> if you don't want Sony or Universal knocking on your door saying oi take our music off your video please which uh I know it's played a lot of uh, other YouTubers. Sony has a great source of lots of free music. I thought I should uh, plug them since uh, we're using their music. So anyway, let's, uh, let's see what we've got to do. So we have Raging Storm, Racing Storm. Racing, it's actually Racing Storm, okay. Now I know. So we have three, or well, two at Shinkanjo and then the team leader comes out. Then we have Ethis Limited, who we have to go to the Shibara PA for. Have you actually been there? I don't think so. And then we'll have Silent Cassiopeia show up. I thought he was, uh, oops, Midnight. So it's Midnight, Azure Sniper, okay. Midnight is Azure Sniper. That gives a little bit of time to, uh, prepare for him. Alright, cool. Night time, let's just, let's actually go to Shibara. Might as well uh, visit it. I still have a cold, it's not gone away. It doesn't help that uh, I'm wearing no socks at the moment. <laughs> so yeah. It's my own fault that I've got a cold, isn't it? I should uh, learn to layer up in January, but no. Uh, I'm too much of a uh, jeans and shirt guy. And of course, it is pretty late that I'm recording this, so... Yeah. If this game had, like, some sort of, like, voice acting, then... I'd probably appreciate the, uh... The information area a bit more. Because I guess that would, uh... Be double the amount of effort because you'd have to get the Japanese audio and the English audio. 
and wherever other language this game comes in. Alright, PA battle. So we have Wild Hearts, the OG Star, Shotoku Red Flash, Heaven's Four Door. Alright, so I know that Wild Heart is a wanderer who requires a hundred wins. And as you can see, I've here you won a hundred races. Allow me to race you in a salute. It's this magnificent achievement. Cool. It's gonna be a uh, wanderer battle here. Lots of money. Very nice to try to crown he has. As you can see, the uh, the course is actually really, really short. Just less than a mile. So it's basically a drag race little sort of kink at the end. He's actually doing pretty well against me, but uh, just when I say kink at the end, I do mean the. Uh, it's not really a tight left-hander, but a high speed it does feel a bit tight. I don't have to break though, so win. Brilliant, brilliant. Well, well, your record isn't just a put-up job. Of course it isn't. All right. We have SP, time attack. For once, time attack battles seem more attractive because the course is so short. Which is actually why I quite love Shibaro. It's, uh, it's an easy place to rack up wins. Oh, this is actually quite. This is actually a longer course, isn't it? I should be checking the course before uh, racing, but whatever. We can deal. Nice halo high beams there. All right. Yeah, as I mentioned before, uh, it's now a lot easier to do console footage since I can now record audio and my my audio and the game audio at the same time instead of separately. Which uh, which should mean there'll be no more problems like uh, in episodes nine and ten where we actually lost <laughs> all the audio. That shouldn't happen again now because. Uh, well, because obviously my audio is going to be uh, at the same time as the game audio, so just one file to deal with, less chance of losing it, which is awesome. And if I do derp again, I'm just going to, I don't know, throw out my friggin' computer because I clearly don't deserve it. Alright, so let's see if things top speed. 170, 180, 184 before it ran out of spray. Pretty good. Oh, yeah, uh, before I actually forget, at the time of recording this, the channel has actually broken 300 views today, which seems like a really small milestone but I mean we're not even a month old yet and so it's it's quite a it's quite an achievement to us. We're still uh, trying to actually get noticed. I think the most I can do at the moment is just uh hoping that people actually look at ITC videos and Company of Hero videos because 
is yes, pretty much the only chat videos we have on the channel at the moment. Uh, sort of those two facade videos, which I mean they're great, but you know it's not really going to be a series or anything. So I don't give people the impression that you know this is a facade channel or anything. It's not even an ITC channel. It's just you know what I've ended up playing at the moment. So yes, another win on the short course. This is entirely down to my lack of skill, of course. Of course, don't blame the car, blame yourself. Only a bad driver blames their car. Unless, of course, you know, you're special and you can blame the car. Anyway. So yeah, this is a... Uh, Shotoku Red Flash. Again, a Toyota Crown. Very popular car, actually, for SS Limited. Actually, I think the Leela drives one. I don't think they do, anyway. We'll see. We'll see very shortly, actually. Actually, no, it won't, because there's a member of SS Limited on the Shinkanjiro we haven't raced yet. So Leela won't show up at Shibaro yet. Oh, well, maybe next time. Anyway, just casually racing here. See, so yeah, I'm uh, I'm still thinking about what game to play after this because you know I don't want to really saturate the channel with racing games, even though there is like a big demand for racing game commentated playthroughs because not many people do them. It seems. I've only seen like a few who actually do like let's plays of uh, racing games. Most of them just just look like uh, post commentaries, or I guess you can call them uh, how-to videos and such. But there's not no not that many uh, let's plays. So I don't know. Maybe it's a good thing that we uh, get a lot of racing games on the channel. But and that's what my next game to be sort of something sort of uh, non racy just to. Get some more variety in there. We'll have to see. Because there's a lot of racing I do actually want to play. There's Need to be on the ground 2, there's Kaido Battle 3, or Kaido Racer 2 for the uh, PAL people, and uh, Tokyo Extreme Racer Drift 2 for the Americans. Why you get such a weird name for the Kaido Battle, I don't know. I mean, the game's not even about drifting. Drifting's like a sort of a sub. I guess sort of like a, uh, drifting's a part of it, but it's not like it's not the game. Which uh, I've noticed has sort of uh, sparked a few YouTube commenters uh, <laughs> on some kind of battle videos saying, "Why aren't you drifting? This is a drift game." It's like, no, it isn't. It's just they named the game weirdly for you guys. I don't blame him really, because it's like, yeah, it actually says drift on your cover, so it's a justified complaint, but uh, I'll be playing Kaido Racer 2, so, you know, racing, that's what I'll be doing. And then there's, uh, I might do Tokyo Extreme Racer 0, but the thing is, the game's really, really boring to watch, because it's not like ITC, where you've at least got some eye candy. Oh sh what the hell have I done to him? Sorry. <laughs> but yeah, uh, TXR Zero is just pure, just highway racing, and it's uh, it's really boring to watch. And plus, uh, <laughs> I think one game full of highways is enough. We'll see anyway. To be honest, I can probably start another playthrough at the same uh, right now. 
because I've got my whole like audio thing sorted, so it's much it's a lot easier to uh, make videos now. So maybe I'll start like a another playthrough of like a different game now. Then after ITC, get another racing game going because uh, I'll have the have like a second game to be playing through in the meantime. So it won't uh, saturate the channel too much. She's been rambling a bit, aren't I? I apologise if you've come here for like insightful commentary of uh, Importune Challenge. Well, I've noticed though, a lot of people sort of see these videos and go, Oh, I remember that game. I'm going to pick it up again. And they sort of start playing. It's like, Oh, yeah, this game's so fun. Which, uh, it's always nice to see. It's nice to sort of remind people, Hey, this game exists. I just love the handling on this car, it's just so grippy. So this should be the leader of Racing Storm. The Z32. This will be interesting. Very nicely modded, Z32 as well. It's got the, uh, the F40 style wing. Very nice. These are actually uh, one of the hidden gems of this game. It's uh, it's very cheap, it's like 3.5 million. I mean, you know, I actually sh I was actually considering one as my next car, uh, but I chose the Impreza as that. But uh, the fellow is really, really quick when junior. Easily capable of beating the uh, beating the game with, but uh, yeah. The only problem is, is that it's very heavy, and handling is a problem when you're first starting off with it. But I totally recommend it though, because it's like, really great car. Right, I should be done with Red Sunfire very shortly. And then we're going to be facing a uh, silent Cassiope on the wagon, <coughs> which uh, is going to be fun. May have to just start off with the spray. Go in there, spray blazing. This is silent Cassiopeia. So a little, I guess. Uh, I'm not sure if it's like a, a glitch or a bug, but uh, in the movie his car was silver, but now it's black. Maybe uh, and you can actually tell that the car's meant for like, silver paint because the vinyls are all black. So I don't know what happened there. Maybe uh, something happened between rendering the video and actually putting them in the game. So I noticed a lot of the cars in the videos have actually uh, got uh, lesser quality wheels, which might suggest that they're from an earlier build of the game. Also, he's kicking my ass. I'm trying to keep up, but he's got so much speed on me. 171, 170E2, please. 172. This should be my chance to catch up, though, because he's about to get caught up in traffic. There we go. Ooh. that superior four-wheel drive grip to just blow me away in the corners. Now we just run. Run for our lives. Alright. He's, he's not catching up just yet, but he's, uh, he's on his way. Hopefully these uh, extra bit of traffic in his way should slow him down a bit. But we're doing well. Mm, yeah, he's dropped behind. Didn't actually have to lift off back there, but had to there. <laughs> 
Oh, it's catching up now. Can I hold out? Can I hold out? Yes, I can. There we go, 20G. Not that it matters, because this isn't an Xbox Live account, this is a, uh... What, what do you call this sort of account, where it's just, uh... On the Xbox, it's not, you know, it's not a live account or anything. So, ah, I've now unlocked Shinjuku. Which means I've now unlocked pretty much every hero. <laughs> Challenge music or something. Oh, new bad name, Swift Mage. Something that uh, I'm no good at. <laughs> See, uh, when I was playing Terraria with uh, Mike and Benson way back, I was sort of the mage character and I had no idea what I was doing. Absolutely none. But yeah, we've now got an uh, exhaust and clutch, and brakes. An LSD. That was a nice little uh, bonus of parts there. So I've got 9.3 million. As much as an exhaust, 1.9 for just 4 horsepower. It's not really worth it, is it? Now let's save money up for the Supra. Because it seems Team Pretzel can hold its own. Most death. So yeah, I'm going to uh, leave you guys here. Uh. I'm going to let you enjoy the new outro, and yeah, if you uh, please do leave a comment about the uh, the audio, if the game qual if the game audio is too low or if it's even too high, I don't know, I mean, I think it's pretty much okay, I think it's a bit lower than before, but it's really up to you what you guys prefer, so yeah, I uh, I will leave you guys now to uh oh wait, hold on. <laughs> because we now have the uh Banter Gaming logo in the outro, we have to say uh RIP Kirby. You served us well for eighteen videos, but now now we give you I guess a better home in the skies. See RIP Kirby and uh see you guys on the next episode of Import Tuna Challenge. Goodbye.